Hey, Alex with windowcleaner.com. I want to show you today the univalve installed on a water fed pole, how it works, why you would want one, and why you kind of need one when you use a back scrub attachment like this contact scrubber here. So, if you're not familiar with the univalve, you haven't watched the install videos or heard people talk about it or seen demos before, the univalve is this gray device right here. It's an inline shutoff valve that goes in your number one section of your water fed pole. So, if you're looking to buy one of these, make sure you do mount it near the top of the, uh, the fast lock adapter here. So, it's going to sit high and tight inside the water fed pole and you control the flow, the on and off of the water and the univalve simply by tugging on the hose. Um, so right now it's closed, the water is on, we're just in the off position on the valve here and from the bottom of the pole, no matter how high it's extended, all you do is just tug on the hose and there we go. You may notice in the background we're hooked up right to a hose bib but inside the wall on the other side of that hose bib is a zero pure. Um, so this is pure water right out of our hose bib. I have a pressure gauge on there, and once this levels out, it sits at about 50 PSI, so you'll see what we're dealing with at 50 PSI. This is a tremendous amount of flow on here. So again, it's not the building's uh, tap pressure, tap water we're using. It is actually coming from a zero pure on the other side of the wall at about 50 PSI. So turn the water off, tug, on. It's that simple. Um, I'll go ahead and put this back on this zero Pro Basic 30 foot. So you can see that it's just completely concealed in there and we'll clean some windows high up and show you the on off feature and we'll use this contact scrubber as well. Since this would be like a commercial application, I'm using a Pro Basic. Uh, these windows are only about 20 feet high or so. So we're using the Pro Basic 30. Um, tips when you don't need to use all of your water fed pole, what I'd recommend is not fully extending the top section. So if you have a 30 foot pole and you're only working at 20 feet, just extend the top thinner sections a couple of feet each. That way you'll help maintain rigidity. You know, you don't want to just extend the most, uh, the skinniest sections and then just have like a wet noodle up there. Use the pole wisely so you can keep it rigid. No sense in wasting water, so turn your water flow on once you're on the glass. And we're using a nylon brush, so you can keep that brush on the glass as you're rinsing. So we're going to scrub these very dirty windows. All right, so to use that contact scrubber on the back, we have to flip the pole over. No sense in getting water all over the place and ourselves. Turn the water off. And we're going to go ahead and scrub with that contact scrubber. We're using a walnut pad on there. Safe on the glass, nice and aggressive. And the contact scrubber is going to pivot and always remain flat on the glass. I'm also using the uh, fast lock swivel attachment on here. You can see that in action, kind of moving back and forth. It's nice to get in those corners and you can keep yourself stationary. You can stay in one spot and get the whole window. With hydrophobic glass, so much more attention has to be given to rinsing. And you're all done. Just pull the hose, turn the water off. After cleaning our very, very dirty windows, you can see on this nylon brush, the bristles are black. The scrub pad's got some, some black dirt on there, so these are really dirty windows. They're hydrophobic windows, but you can see how having the univalve can certainly conserve water and not get you drenched. So check out the contact scrubber, the Zero Fast Lock Swivel Attachment, the Pro Basic, the univalve, all these awesome products. Check them out at windowcleaner.com, and they're going to be linked in the description below.